Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a little um, video talking about why you should get the May 2019 update on your PC. Of course feature updates are always scary and a lot of people tend to want to stay away from them. They are big updates, they are truly fully Windows installs. But there's a couple of things in the May 2019 update that make me want to say you should move to this actually feature update right now when you will have it of course because it's not available yet it's going to be available in May but you should upgrade to this version for a very for a few reasons a few little things that are interesting uh, the first one is the red Pauline fix the fact that you will have the Spectre and Meltdown fix for your machine on the May 2019 update so if you're on the April 2018 update, for example, a lot of people are still there, you will actually see performance improvements in this update. So that is, of course, a big reason that you might want to move on to May 2019 update. Uh, just the fact that you'll have a faster PC. Now, another reason also is because of the extended test time that they're actually giving the May 2019 update, that month in relief release preview, plus all the tests that was done before with fast ring and slow ring. It means that the May 2019 update is going to probably be one of the best and most and safest feature updates in a long time. So that means you should have a good rollout of May 2019. It should work quite well. And that also is a positive point because it's being really tested to the max. The other reason, well, a few little things about Windows Update. Now, you already will have the opportunity to actually, um, you know, not install the May 2019 update. But I would recommend that you do so because it will give you that 18 months of now I can sit for 18 months and just wait. Because one of the things that you got to notice, if you're still on the April 2019 update, 2018 update, when this version comes out, you already are past 12 months. And each feature updates are 18 months. That means that in just four or five months from now, you already will have to move to a newer version of Windows 10. So maybe that's the time to do so. You will have that 18 months from starting with the May 2019 update that if you don't want to have, you know, the next update that will be 19H2, if you don't want to have the 20H1 of next year, well, you will be able to just say, no, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stay here on the May 2019 update for at least uh, a year. And, um, you know, more and more we're thinking that the second updates that we will have in the year are going to be minor updates. So that means you'll be at the May 2019 update, and if you really want to have a big new feature update, well, you can uh, stay there and wait until 20H1 in April or May of 2020 to uh, update your PC. And of course, um, the uh, one of the features that I talked in a separate video, the um, fact that Windows updates that go wrong will be rolled back automatically. It's apparently a new feature in here. And of course, you know, a host of new little things if you like to uh, go around and, you know, uh, test out new features and, and use new features that come with Windows 10. Well, that's also something that you'll be able to, uh, you know, check out and uh, see the new features that we actually talk about here and show you guys on the channel. So a few reasons why May 2019 update may be the one that you want before you actually stay put and decide, well, now I'm staying here, and I'm staying here for a long time, you'll have at least that 18 months buffer that uh, will be available starting with this update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.